after a very, very difficult year 2020 with all the challenges which it took, coronavirus pandemic and the transformation of our industry. And at the end of December in our Capital Markets Day, we announced the midterm targets, which means targets which should be achieved in the next three to five years on our way of transformation, on the transition of our industry. We are working via growth and via cost in order to achieve those. So 2021 is a year which is in between. And as you mentioned, it started subdued due to the semiconductor shortage with additional costs which we have to take on in 2021. However, we will evolve then from the five to six margin, then later on to our midterm targets, which are still fully our target. Fair enough. So let's talk about some of the logistical challenges that you're facing and that you've just talked about now. Do you have any clarity on when you expect some of those bottlenecks to subside and when things can actually return back to normal again? Yeah, that's a great question. And as you know, this semiconductor shortage which we experience is an industry shortage. So you don't only see it in the automotive industry, you see it in consumer electronics, PlayStations, home office uh, appliances, which skyrocketed, so to say, last year in terms of demand. They are all in short supply. So it's very difficult to predict when actually this industry shortage will be dissolved. However, we still expect that this will last um, during the whole year of 2021 and will be a major challenge for us, which we have to mitigate. Um, sir, I want to talk about your investment in technology because this is a key pillar of your strategy moving forward. You talked about it a lot at your Capital Markets Day, and I see today in your release, again, talking about higher investments for the global technology leadership in assisted and automated driving, for example. Uh, how should investors think about your strategy here? Is all of this investment going to be done organically, or could we see you look to partnerships and M&A? I mean, first of all, the announcement of today is a consequent um, step out of our strategy, which we have presented on the Capital Markets Day, where we differentiate our portfolio in growth and value. And the autonomous mobility area is a clear growth area where we consequently invest into technology in order to grab the opportunities this market will bring to us in the future and we see there. So with being and having a higher invest, it doesn't mean that we all have to do on our own. The areas in which we are going to, such as compute vision, artificial intelligence, data management, there we can nicely partner, for instance, with startups or other companies in order to be even faster and having even a stronger impact in a faster way or in total technology way.